WBC conference in Dubai. I am Maria and with me here I have Enrico Lunian from Polyverse. Enrico, welcome. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for having me. It's an, it's an honor being here, amazing conference and uh, amazing recognition that you guys uh, awarded us with. It's yes. really appreciated. Let's discuss this a bit further. So here, as you can see, Enrico and his team from Polyverse have just won the best blockchain gaming award for 2024 here in Eurasia. And I wanted to discuss this further. Um, let's go into the solution that you guys have and uh, what is the brains behind it. Absolutely. So we started developing a Web3 game and we wanted to develop something that was not only an entertainment-based business, but actually had a strong technological solution behind it. So that's what we've been developing for the past two years, a solution that allows you um, to use any NFTs from any chain, connect them directly to a specific, let's say, bridging technology. I don't want to reveal too much, uh, but then play on a proper gaming blockchain, which is gasless, and then it's wax. That allows us to provide a solution, a technological solution, to have a real Web3 game, regardless of the chain in which you are minting your NFTs. Okay, and who can um, join this game? Who can play this game? Initially, uh, only the NFT holders will be able to play the game. There are two collections, one of 888 pieces and the second one of 8,000. Of course, when we release to public, there is a stake to play mechanism that allows you to get our token, stake the token, actually lock, would be more correct actually, uh, lock the token um, in order to for you to play. Okay, At that point, you don't spend the token. If you don't want to play anymore, you unlock it and you keep the token. What about the token being used? Um, is the specific token? Yeah, the, the specific token is our own proprietary token. It's the in-game token, which has released from TG from day one on Wax, bridged on uh, Ethereum and a partner blockchain. Okay, that token is a pure utility token for game transaction, game mints, and any game rewards. And uh, you will be able to get it from secondary uh, market or through the public sale, private sale, or directly directly in game as rewards. Wow, that's a lot of stuff going on. Um, it, there's a lot of thought behind it. You must have a big team we tend to do. behind it. Um, obviously, the industry is recognizing your efforts in this game because that's um, not an easy feat to win. And it's, it's quite a big, a, big, uh, a big award, recognizing the fact that you're an event that recognizes both gaming and blockchain. It's quite a big award to be handling. Um, Congratulations. What does this mean for you? Well, this, is, this means a lot to the team. We've been behind it for, for two years, uh, getting the recognition, being able to have also an amazing feedback at the actual event, exhibiting and the stand, having people stop by, ask the right question that shows that the audience is, is, is a great audience, shaking the right hands. And you know, it, it actually it's the culprit of two years of work, which is not the end for us. This is just the beginning, and we are happy to have such a nice start. Well done. Um, now, to close off, I want to know more about what the future holds. You said this is not the end, but this is just the beginning. I want to know what the future holds for Polyverse. Um, is there plans for expansion? Is there plans for maybe targeting different markets, new markets? So for, for Polyverse, let's say that like any game, when you are able to deliver to the people a good product, whether it is in forms of technology, economic model, or, or entertainment, they want always to see more. So we started developing something that uh, can grow and can evolve. So it's not going to get stuck in terms of the development route we want to take. Uh, but what we really want to be able to prove and use this as a proof of concept is that the technological solution we've got the, the Oracle system, bridging system, multi-chain and cross-chain interaction is something that could potentially uh, empower other games, other projects, and the whole industry. So this is the start. We want to prove to everyone that this works, and then let's see where, where this road will take us. Are there any thoughts for collaborations, or that's still behind the... No, no, we, we have. Um, this has been a good, a good place to, to shake the right hands. Um, we are doing a few co-marketing activities that we will release to the public in the next few months. Um, until from, from March to September, we have six launches between NFTs, games, alpha, beta, uh, the token. So we have quite a few things planned and we have all the roadmap planned until December 2025. And um, 
I hope, I hope that the right project or the bigger community see that there is some value in what we've developed so that we can actually collaborate in the proper way. Well done, Enrico. From myself and the rest of the AIBC team, I wish you and your team the rest of success and the rest of luck for this year and for your upcoming projects. Thank you so much. Yeah.